Thanks to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ! If any UFC fighter knows what it's like to be possessed by the devil, it's John Jones. Even non-believers like Joe Rogan will use phrases like John has demons to essentially excuse his behavior. But Joe Rogan doesn't actually realize how much truth is in that statement. But you know who does? John himself. And John Jones has come out to join the side of good against the side of evil in the spiritual battle going on in MMA right now. He is exposing magic users and black magic as real and the fact that he has it speaks volumes so what do i think about john jones most recent statement on magic in mma <laughs> i'm glad you asked So John Jones came out on Twitter or X, whatever you want to call it, and said this. There has been a lot of talk about spirit channeling and magic in MMA lately. This stuff is all very real. I felt all types of weird energies walking into those arenas, looking certain opponents in the eyes. I want to let you all know that Jesus Christ is king. He is and always will be undefeated. Every knee shall bow. This is a very powerful statement and a very telling statement. All right. John Jones is not a silly little child and he's not some silly Czech man that you can dismiss his beliefs as, oh, superstitious nonsense. And he really believes in magic. Ha ha ha. How silly. And simultaneously glaze Alex Pereira for also believing in magic and channeling spirits and say, how cool, how, how respectful, look at his culture. So why don't we break down this tweet from John Jones, a man who you can only say you have to take his word when it comes to magic. He's been possessed by demons. So the first part of the tweet says there has been a lot of talk about spirit channeling and magic in MMA lately. So John here is obviously referring to the build up to UFC 303 where Yuri Prohashka and Alex Pereira engaged in what could only be called a spiritual beef during fight week. Everybody knows he is working with uh, with some shaman shamanics with with some with some shamans. He he believes in in the in in uh, in some like spiritual help from them. Okay. I, I believe too, but I believe in the best performance in the human performance right here right now without no 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 magic. I've made a number of videos about this already. And I'll put the playlist of those in the description of this video for anyone who needs background context. But long story short, Yuri Prohashka came out on the MMA hour and told Ariel Hawani that he thinks Alex Pereira can't win without using his shamanism and that he doesn't think they should fight with magic. And then he doubled, tripled, and quadrupled down on this during fight week. This is my challenge to him. If we can fight in a clear way in this case, yeah, to be not uh, without like some another things, some uh, some whatever. Se ele encontrou né o espírito dele, eu não tenho culpa. Well, everybody have their own spirit. We're not only made of flesh and bone. I found mine. If he did not found his, or if he does not believe, it's not my fault. I am one hundred percent self confident. 
but this is to speak about some dirty, some dirty practice and all these things are behind that. And I want to, I just want to keep that in a clear way. That's all. That's all what I talk about. This is all. His name. Basically calling it a dirty practice and Alex Pereira did not deny doing shamanism. He simply said like, Yuri's jealous. If he doesn't have his spirit, it's tough for him, right? And he proceeded to paint his face and do the shamanism for their face off. No, no magic. Let the show who's the best in the performance, the strongest man on the planet, light heavyweight. No magic. Sem magia, meu camarada. Sem magia. Sem magia. Sempre sem magia. Muito treinamento. Dedicação. Chama. <laughs> Always. No magic. He's trying to play something. I saw him in his eyes. What he's doing, some technique. Doesn't matter. I'm pure. There is a spiritual battle. John Jones is now seemingly taking a side in this, siding with Yeri Prohashka. As you can tell, John knows Yeri's not being silly and you shouldn't just dismiss Yeri while at the same time glazing Alex Pereira's beliefs. People like Joe Rogan, DC, John Anik, and a whole bunch of fans will dismiss Yeri as being a superstitious, stupid dummy and then glaze Alex for doing ancestor worship. One's calling it out, one's doing it. You should have the same stance for both of them. Don't be biased. Apply your ethics to both. But this will lead us to something later is the fact that a lot of these MFers have no morals. All right, and you can say whatever you want because I know demons are going to be commenting in the comments. John Jones is a scumbag. John Jones has domestic assault charges. John Jones hit a pregnant woman with his car. Yada, yada, yada. The demons will screech to try to poison the well against John Jones and detract from the validity of what he's saying. Magic is real. I felt all types of weird energies walking into those arenas, looking certain opponents in the eyes. It's tough to know exactly who John is referring to here. He's fought a whole bunch of people through, you know, multiple eras of the UFC. But I think we can rule out certain individuals pretty easily. Alexander Gustafson, outspoken, devout Christian. Dominic Reyes, Anthony Smith, even Vitor Balfour, all outspoken Christians, right? So I think John Jones is referring to a lot of the Brazilians he fought. Guys like Shogun Hua and Lyoto Mashida, who does drink his own pee pee and gaslights his fans and just the wider MMA fan base into thinking that's a good thing you should be doing, not an occult spell, which it is. Drinking your own bodily fluids is a spell and don't do it. That's Rigo's recommendation. All right? I think most importantly, though, he's referring to Glover Teixeira. He has looked Glover Teixeira in the eyes, and he knows Glover is soulless and dead behind that. He's part of Alex Pereira's little witch coven that incorporates all sorts of different spiritual beliefs. He could also be referring to people like DC, who, such a company man, gorging himself out of guilt, 100% has sold his soul, right? 100%. I don't know too, too much about him, though, but he is from Louisiana, so probably has done voodoo from, like, a young age. Haiti, the last bastion of the man-eater. Ovince St. Prue, speaking of voodoo. You know, I'd like to think Ovince is a good guy, but he is from Haiti, and they love their voodoo down there, all right? So if anyone's doing, like, chicken blood stuff, it's DC and Ovince St. Prue. John Jones could also be speaking about Cyril Gaon, a.k.a. Cyril Goon, the Zestomancer. The man who would rather sit on his sofa and goon to FIFA, 
than train. That's a spell. If you don't think gooning, goon rituals, ritualized jelking, any of that stuff is a spell, it is. It's mana retention, energy harvesting. He could also be referring to potential future opponents he's already stared down with. Tom Aspinall. We all know Tom Aspinall is possessed by a Boondago. This is a similar spirit to a Wendigo, which causes men to be obsessed with the consumption of man flesh. A Boondago causes a man to be consumed with the consumption of female Bunda! Have you ever been fingered by an MMA fighter yeah. before? There was one up here I was fingering. I was just so fing on the floor. What? No. Mm. Mm. What would it take to you? To finger me? Tom Aspinall is possessed by a spirit of lust. We can see that in how he conducts himself with female professionals in the space. Let's analyze the last line of this tweet. I want to let you all know that Jesus Christ is king. He is and always will be undefeated. Every knee shall bow. This is a very powerful, powerful statement because John Jones is doing the one thing you should do when confronted by the devil or demon-possessed people, and that's invoke the name of Christ without shame. Do not do half measures. Refusing to name Jesus and being ashamed of your faith is one of the worst things you can do. But naming him and coming out and crying his name from the rooftops is one of the most empowering things you can do, okay? Do not be a Yeri Prohashka who refuses to name Jesus, says stuff like in his name, well, basically wanting to do it. Let your mouth flow with the name of the Lord as John Jones does. And don't be one of these people who lack a complete set of morals, right? Who aren't religious, they're non-believers, therefore their morality is rooted in nothing. And then they will take a moral stance against someone like John Jones. Why do you care, atheist, non-believer, what someone does when your entire worldview is relativist it's not based on anything your morality is relative and then if you were really a christian would you not forgive your brother and let he without sin cast the first stone john jones has taken a side in this spiritual war and things are heating up because magic has become mainstream in mma if you enjoyed this little breakdown of the most recent episode of the occult season in the UFC, drop a like on the video, subscribe if you're new because I'm the only person really covering this stuff from a proper perspective and turn the bell notification on so you don't miss a single update. So the Pharisees are on me, they're behind me, they're throwing stones at me right now, we gotta dip, we gotta get out of here right now. Demon possessed man on my right, I'm praying over him right now, he's cracked, he's cracked. I'd like to give a big thank you to all my channel members. Without you guys, the channel would not be possible. And a special thanks to my Lion Tear members. I appreciate each and every one of you. Demon Bobby. Demon Mommy.